our mission was clear up in Germany, Cologne, Germany. And uh, we had um, a strong wind from the north that day. I didn't pay much attention to it because all you do is stay in formation. You can't navigate and fly formation at the same time. And you're uh, five miles high, you, you, don't, you can't see the landmarks when you're doing all this stuff. We got to the target, we're coming up on the target, and the, the doors, bomb doors open. And uh, Black was flying around, but wasn't taking any hits. But then all of a sudden, I did get hit. And it, it made a little smoke, but a lot of noise. But at the same time, my uh, right rudder uh, pedal just went limp on me. And um, so I thought, oh, the, the tail is hit. And, and the Black was just really all over the place. And I was off to, one, off to the right, and they were making their diving turn off there. And as I, and there's a whole bunch of flack in between. I'm not going to go through that dock on flack. And so I started heading back, and um, I couldn't find the, the group anymore. I couldn't see them anyplace. Well, the navigator, I was asking for a position. He would not navigate. He would not do anything. So, uh, well, you can't miss England. It's 600 miles long. You drive, drive west. I forgot about that wind at that altitude. And so uh, when it come to the coast, everything was clear. It was, luckily, it was good clear weather. And so I, was, I let down to about 17,000 and uh, checked the gas, because you never fly out over the ocean more than half your way, because you won't make it back. And so uh, I, uh, I could see way out there for miles at, at 17,000, and I could see it wasn't get anywhere. And so I didn't wait for the halfway mark. I, I, I know I'm south of England. And um, so um, it turned back to the co coast, and um, I didn't know how far south I was. It was a, was a trouble. And so all I need to do is get down close to the ground and start looking for a place to, to land. And um, got down to about 1,500 feet, slowed down to about 100. 50 or 60, and just looking at all the guys, looking and looking all over the place, heading east. Off to my left, uh, I noticed um, a green flash. And I, and I what was that? I look, and I, I looked at it again, it flashed again. And I thought, well, somebody's trying to signal out there. And so I headed right over there, headed north, and uh, flew over there a little ways. Here's this runway, this field. Nothing, nothing around there, just blowing up the buildings. No people, no cars, nothing around there. And I thought, well, this is really strange, and there, but there's no Germans out there either. I circled the field, and uh, the, uh, one runway was still okay. And I thought, what can I do? I just went in and landed, and um, got out, and here come some people coming around. And uh, I don't know whether they were hiding from us or what, but they started showing up. The Germans had just left there three days before, and these people were really happy. If I had kept going east, I would, in just a matter of maybe four or five minutes, I would have been uh, right over the enemy lines there. See? They would have got me on the first shot. And they would have, they, we'd either been killed, shot down, taken prisoner, who knows what. But that, um, that green flash turned me north, right there. A few minutes for that. I, I just go ahead and thank God for that.